Hi, my name is Pete Hahn, and thank you for watching this tutorial video. Be sure to visit www.hahn-tech.com for the full library of video tutorials. I hope this video increases your knowledge and helps you become more efficient with this topic, whether for home or work. Please support this channel by sharing these videos with your friends and colleagues. Hi guys, welcome to today's video. In this video, I will be showing you how to install a custom column on any watch list. And this custom column will show you the red or green indications of whether a stock is in or out of the TTM squeeze. Red dots mean that the squeeze is in place and green means that the stock is out of the squeeze and ready to make a move. So I want to show you here, I've got my chart set up with a monthly, weekly, and daily time frames. And over to the right, I've got my watch list. And I've already got my watch list set up with the indicator that I'm providing, as well as a couple of other indicators from a companion video. There was a video that I did previously, and that shows the histogram colors of the TTM squeeze in a watch list column. So you can combine these columns together in a single watch list and at a glance you can get a really good view of exactly what the chart's going to look like when you select that stock on your watch list. So before we get started, there's a lot of ground to cover. I'm going to show you how to install it on your watch list. I'm going to show you where to get the code from. It's going to be provided for free. But let's go ahead and cover the disclaimer first, okay? And that is, I am not a professional trader. In other words, I do not make my living from trading stocks, options, or futures. And nothing in this video should be interpreted as a recommendation to buy or sell any financial instrument. Okay, so what I really want you to understand is I'm not here to show you how to make profitable trades. I'm here to show you how to customize your Thinkorswim platform so that you can get the most out of it. Okay, so let's go ahead and get on into the details and I'll show you this step by step. And as we dig into those details, I do want to point out that I am using the Mac version of Thinkorswim's platform for this video. And the reason for that is after the recent upgrade that Thinkorswim released, the Windows version, at least on my computer, is not running as smoothly as it did before. And I went to the Mac version and it seems to run smooth as glass. And after all, I want the videos to be presented in the best possible light. So here we are, we're using the Mac version. So there are going to be a few differences in how things are displayed and I'll point those out as we go. Okay, so the first thing I'll do is I'll show you this watch list over here on the right. You can see that I've got it sorted by this column and this column is a custom column that I created and it covers the daily time frame and it's showing you the color of the squeeze dots, the dots that run along the center line of the squeeze indicator. So all of these at the top are red, and that means that they're all in the squeeze. I won't look at all of them and bore you to death, but we will click on a few of these, and you can see on the daily chart, which is over here to the right, you can see there's one, two, three, four dots of red, and the, the, the stock is in the squeeze. The other thing I'll point out to you is as we look at that stock, well, while the stock is selected, you really can't see what colors those are. It's a deficiency in Thinkorswim. You used to be able to uh, uncheck that and be able to see that. But anyhow, the negative 2 and the negative 2, that indicates uh, that's going to be red on the histogram. And if we click on another chart, let's say we're going to look at uh, this one down here. This one is in the squeeze. It's POM. And it's going to be dark blue and dark blue. Uh, that's dark blue on the weekly histogram and dark blue on the daily histogram. So we'll go ahead and click on that and then let's look at these charts. And you can see certainly that we have dark blue on the weekly and we have dark blue on the daily. Okay. And if we go back to that previous one, uh, ISIL, and that one shows you that uh, both of the histograms are red. Here's another one. We look at GAS. That's got two blue histograms. Okay. So this will help you in deciding you know, which stocks are trending together. So for instance, you would like to see maybe um, yellow um, and blue, yellow and light blue that is, as in this stock right here that we started off with. Yellow and blue is gonna give you uh, indication of histogram in the same direction. And we have the first green dot coming out of the squeeze. 
and let's see another one here that's yellow and blue and that's two dots coming out of the squeeze and you can see that the histogram actually started moving uh, quite a ways before that while it was still in the squeeze. Okay, so there's really not much more to show you than that. Uh, this is going to be a short video. Let's go ahead and show you how to go ahead and add a custom watch list column. And we'll do that on the watch list itself. We right click over the symbol. There's headers up here giving you the name of each column. So we're going to place the cursor over that header and we're going to right click. So we right click and we select customize. And from the customize screen, we're going to use this filter here. You hit this little drop down here, go down to custom quotes, and then select custom quotes. Now, on most of your platforms, you're going to see custom 01, 02, 03, all the way through custom, I think it goes up to custom 19. And there's a fixed number of custom columns that you can create. You can see I've only got six customs left that haven't been used, so the rest have been used up. I've got quite a lot in here. And so we're going to show you step by step now, okay? So what you need to do is you need to add one of these columns by double clicking, or you can select the button down here, add items. And then once it's over here, you can click on the script icon and that will open up the code editor. Now, in the code editor, you will have the Think Script Editor tab because that allows us to copy and paste the code into the window. And what we'll do then is we'll erase the custom, the word custom, we're going to rename this and I'm going to put this in as a W underscore SQZ and we're going to change this aggregation period to weekly and then we're going to grab the code. So let me show you where the code is going to be located on the website. So if you're viewing this video on YouTube, I'll give you a link to go to the website and this is what the page is going to look like and you scroll down just above the video and you're going to highlight this code right here. You can just right click and copy. Okay, so we'll go ahead and drag that out of the way. We don't need it anymore. And then we go ahead and clear out everything that's there and then we can right click and select paste. Now all that's left is clicking apply and OK. And then we can click OK. Now we'll uh, go ahead and open up this watch list a little bit more so you can see details here and what you can do is you can click and drag that column okay we could have set it up all the way to the left here from the customized screen but instead I decided to show you how to do it this way now you've got two ways to move columns and now you see that we've got another view of the TTM squeeze you can see some of these stocks have read on both the weekly and daily time frames now, the way John Carter teaches this, he will tell you that having squeezes on multiple time frames is very powerful. So this is very helpful to be able to create the custom columns for multiple time frames and get that all in one glance. So we can go ahead and select that stock here. Let's shrink that back down so we've got a good view of our screen. And you can see that indeed on the weekly and the daily, they are both in a squeeze. However, the histogram, as was indicated on the watch list, is in opposing directions. The weekly is dark red and the daily is uh, bright yellow. So they're trending in opposite directions. Okay, so that's really all there is to it. That's how easy it is to install this. Let's see, next I want to give you the link so you know where to go to get this from the website. Okay, and before I give you that link, I want to pull in the website here again for you and I'm going to scroll back up. I'm going to show you over here on the left hand side You've got the trading platform tutorials. This is the category for the thinkorswim watch lists. You've got the custom watch list columns. That gives you a good introduction to how to build custom watch list columns. And then you've got the watch list import, and that shows you how to grab a list of symbols, let's say from a spreadsheet or from another platform, and easily import them into thinkorswim as a watch list. And then the other one I wanted to show you is the thinkorswim TTM squeeze. It's similar to this video, but it covers the histogram. So if you want to know how I did the custom columns for the Thinkorswim histogram, then you go ahead and look at this video link right here. It's the TTM Squeeze watch list. It's named very similar, just a little bit different than this video. Okay, This one is the Thinkorswim watch list TTM Squeeze, and the other one is the TTM Squeeze watch list. Okay. 
So we'll go ahead and pull that out of the way. And now I'll give you the link, nice big bold blue letters here. So that's gonna be the link that'll get you to the website and you'll be able to copy and paste that code and create your own custom columns. Okay, that's all I had to show you guys. Really quick video for this week. This was requested by a viewer back in December and I'm just now getting around to presenting it to you guys. I thought it was a great suggestion and I think this is gonna be a great video and very useful for many people. Alrighty, thanks a lot for watching. Take care everyone. Thank you for watching this tutorial video. Be sure to visit www.hondashtech.com for the full library of tutorials. I hope this video increases your knowledge and helps you become more efficient with this topic, whether for home or work. Please support this channel by sharing these videos with your friends and colleagues. Thanks and take care.